Good morning, y'all. Good morning, and welcome back to Alicia's Crafty Hoplop. If you're new here, welcome. It's going to be a fun weekend here at the Hoplop. We're just wrapping up a week of Happy Mail, and we're going to launch into some rack packages over the weekend. But for my returning folks, welcome back, y'all. Happy Friday. We made it through another week, and that's a lot to be thankful for. It sure is. And for each other and our videos that keep us company through these uncertain times. But speaking of uncertain times, I need your help this morning, y'all. So a member of our community, Michelle Bastian, is, you know, as you know, she's recovering from surgery. I told you yesterday, and the recovery has not been smooth at all. And as she, right now she's going through this period of debilitating pain. And I mean debilitating. Two rounds of, of steroids haven't made a difference. And that tells you something. Those of us living with inflammation know that two rounds of steroids, besides making you, first of all, I don't know about you all, but if I take a steroid like a prednisone, I gain 20 pounds in the first four days. And that does nothing to make you feel good because you haven't eaten anything and you gain 20 pounds. Uh, so that's already like, and you feel speedy all the time. So if two rounds of steroids don't make an impact and you're still all inflamed and in a whole whopping load of pain, something's wrong. She's just not in pain, y'all. She's in debilitating pain. The kind of pain that when, I, I can just tell you from personal experience, it's the kind that makes getting out of bed feel like it is a mammoth task. Try walking a dog or cooking a meal or doing your laundry in that kind of pain. And we all know it just won't happen. So I'm calling on all angelic spirits this morning. What I'd like to do is I'd like to see if we can't get some takeout food delivered to her between now and Sunday. I'm just thinking the last thing you want to do is cook when you're feeling this way and you end up eating junk. And you know, I'm a big fan of junk. I showed you, I send boxes of junk to kids as a rack. But you know, when you're in this kind of way, here's what I know for sure. Your body needs food as fuel. It needs food in order to fight this. And Michelle's not just living with things like inflammation, she's recovering from surgery. So if she only eats junk because it's easy and you don't have to cook it, and let's be honest, it makes you feel better when you're feeling really crappy, I'm worried she won't have enough strength to keep going. It's just that simple. So I'm thinking if we could get some takeout delivered to her, then she wouldn't have to cook. And there'd be a healthy meal there waiting for her, a healthy, tasty meal. You know, so Miss Pat's looking up some restaurants in the area. I have two. I have found some restaurants that will deliver to Michelle. If you're interested in ordering in Michelle uh, takeout of any kind, either contact Pat or I, either one of us. I'll put Pat's channel down below. Reach out to Pat. Reach out to me. We'll provide you with information that you need in order to get that delivered to her, be it a name of a restaurant that delivers. We can help you with that or where to send it. I know it's an unusual request, um, but you know, different people need different things to get through difficult experiences. Sometimes we need a die cutter on here and sometimes we need takeout y'all. It's just that simple. It's just that simple. And you know, if we can help, that's what we do. So call on, on all angelic spirits. We need you. And that, that means anyone, anyone who feels like they want to make a difference today, this will make a difference. And I think it's okay to send in multiple orders between now and, and Sunday because she can always freeze it y'all or put it, put it away. You know, we're talking a couple of meals a day. You know, if we could send in four meals even over between now and Sunday, that would help her a lot. I don't know what you all are up to. I'm going to the post office. Um, as I told you, it's rack weekend and I am going to pre-record some, some of the pieces I'm sending out and others I'm still working on because I've learned y'all that if I'm, here's what I've learned. Fussy cutting is what takes me a long time. So you know how I was saying, like the other day I showed you all those five cards and I made them in two days and that for me was fast because usually it's one card a day and I made like two cards a day. Okay, well I was working on these other cards but I was doing all the fussy cutting and I didn't even make one card a day. Just the, the stamping and then the cutting took me like two days and I wasn't even making that many. And then I got to color it in and I got to glossy accent it and stickle it. So I know the fussy cutting is what slows me down the most. So when I'm doing stamping or I'm doing a lot of digitals where I'm fussy cutting, because of my hand issues, it does take me much longer. So I was a little frustrated with myself this week. I was like, dang, you can't even make a card in a day. But that's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. I took a break so I didn't get super frustrated. Um, but I am working on certain rack things for people that require these. So I wanted to make sure that I had them done. So over the weekend, I'm going to show you what some of my rack packages look like. Um, so that you have an idea because I never show them and some people said well, what what do your racks look like? They're different for each person usually But for this round I did do something I learned about from watching Dina this mama loves Disney Usually around Halloween or Christmas. She does these little cute kits for all of her girlfriends 
Um, I've been lucky enough to receive them, so I know what they look like. They're really cool. Uh, she'll sometimes make like a witch's cauldron and then stick all these goodies in it. Um, or she'll make like a nail file holder and like she does a whole bunch of like, these cute little rack packages. So I sort of designed something like that, but in my own style. And I'll share those with you over the weekend. Maybe I'll share one on Saturday and one on Sunday. Maybe one later today. We'll see. Um, but it'll be a weekend of showing you that sort of thing since some of you asked, what do those look like? And to my um, die cut part uh, swap partner, Rosalind Cobb, I am, today is your mail out day. So I will send you, um, I'll actually email you after with the priority number so you can track the package and make sure you get it. I don't trust New York mail, y'all. After this experience, I'm telling you, I want you to know that um, Rhonda told me, Rhonda Hancock told me that she mailed me something. Was it Rhonda Hancock who told me? No, it was Rosalind. It was Rosalind. How long it took for the package? Well, one of them told me. It took forever for the package to arrive. And they mailed another person in another state at the same time, and they got theirs within a week. So, and even that was long, but they figured, okay, a week. Mine took a month to get here. So there is something funky with the mail. So just as a security precaution, I'm sending Miss Cobb um, my priority number. And that's what I was telling y'all. When you do a swap, make sure you keep a priority post number because that way y'all can track the package. You know, right? And we just gotta be sure. And even priority that's supposed to be three to four days taken five to seven. And I found out from Miss P, who by the way is feeling better. She's, she is feeling better, the pain is reduced. Um, I found out from P that that's because they're still catching up from Christmas, y'all. They're just catching up. And then COVID hit. I mean, they've just been hit so hard, the postal system. So we just have to be patient. We're all experiencing delays. I'm experiencing crazy delays, like month-long delays. But I am getting my alley orders. I'm getting an alley order a day now. I don't know if the rest of you are, but I'm getting one alley order a day. So that does say something. It means that the orders are freeing up, which is great. Which is great. I also have to do my BB Craft project share, which I'll probably do on Sunday um, or Saturday, one of the two. So yeah, it's going to be a fun crafty weekend and I'm hoping the same thing for you. That's really what I'm hoping. I'm hoping everybody is healthy and happy and crafting. If you want to participate in getting some food to Michelle Bastian, again, just contact Pat or I and we will help you facilitate that if, if you need help. If you don't need help and you have Michelle's address and you can find a restaurant in her area, by all means, just directly send it to her. Um, anything we can do to get her some support we want to do. And for the rest of you all, happy Friday. Happy Friday, y'all. Bye for now.